Chewing the Brew. I'm Matthew, and this is my wife, Grace. And, uh, she's, uh, um, of mixed opinion on being in front of the camera. <laughs> she's usually in the other camera, uh, in the other room, and I hear her laugh as I make some funny. This is true. <laughs> I don't comment on every laugh she makes. Um, today we're going to be enjoying and exploring a new one for both of us. Parliament Peach Ghosts by Bombastic Brewing. Um, Bombastic Brewing is typically true to their name. Big beers that are pretty crazy. Um, well executed, but big. Um, big in flavor, big in all the ways. Uh, my wife in particular likes Ghosts, which is a recent discovery. Last year. Last year or so. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Margarita Ghosts by Cigar City Brewing. Yes. And the Mimosa. Mimosa by Boulevard, I want to say. Is that uh, right? I don't know. Something. It's a big orange box. Um, I'll be talking about those later, and I will probably have a more, you know, exploration, bigger exploration of the actual style. What order we upload it in is entirely subjective, so um, I might end up upload end up uploading those first. Um, anyways, so I'm not going to take much time exploring what a ghost is in this video, and when I do upload one, I'll add links. Uh, but the explanation on the can itself is that it is a ghost ale with sea salt and peach puree, which is something pretty common. Uh, salt flavors in fruit. ghosts. Oh, yeah, a fruit and a salt. Common. Yeah, it's a sour, so it's typically going to be a fruited beer. Um, well, not sours don't mean <laughs> fruits, but <laughs> yes. Uh, but just, just let's just give this a try. With the uh, peach puree, I'm expecting this to be a bit, uh, well, I was expecting more of a milkshake almost note uh, color or thickness to it, but it's clearly not that. Um, so first off, looking at the head, uh, I would say the bubbles are pretty thin, but they're there, and they don't disappear right away. Um, what do you smell? Or they just sour? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there's dust on my hands that's clouding oh. my smell. <laughs> there's a little bit of barnyard in the background. Um, but I definitely pick up the peach. Do you smell the peach? Um, I'm not really getting a strong peach odor. It's pretty but, subtle. But... It smells cold. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh out of the fridge. I mean, you typically drink it goes cold, so. Yeah. I smell a lot. Yeah. I didn't notice a lot of smell. So. Okay. Yeah. So I'm picking up, it might be the funkiness from my hand. I've, I've got dust on my hands, I think. <laughs> um, I'm trying to keep it down here where I'm not smelling it. <laughs> um, there, there's a subtle peachiness. I smell a little bit of salt water. Um, like a, a, almost a brine, but I mean, not, not like a seawater brine, just I smell salt. Not that salt has a smell, but it smells slightly salty for what it's worth. But it's a pretty crisp smell. Um, That's what you just got there. Like there's not a lot of other things. It, it, it's clean, it's clear. No, it's, it's a simple smell, whatever yeah. it is. As I smell more, I think I can tell it's more, it's definitely a peach puree rather than like a squeezed peach juice. <laughs> well, see how it tastes. <laughs> definitely sour. Mm -hmm. I'm still not, I taste the peach at the end. I don't get a strong upfront. Okay, is it that the sour is kind of the dominant flavor yes. at the beginning? And then only later can you taste the peach? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you like about ghosts? Could you explain, like, why you like them? Or... Um, they're not bitter. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of beers are bitter. Mm -hmm. And they don't seem to really have that same bitter taste that some of the other ones do. So, fruity, a little sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm. hmm. I'm not sure if a ghost is ever going to be my favorite style because the 
the tartness, like the sourness at the outset, it's not unpleasant. I enjoy it, and there's times that I enjoy it a lot, but um, if I'm given a choice between... I say this, but at the same time, I'm thinking when we went to Briggs, oh, the first thing that. I chose was a there sour. Was a <laughs> so, I mean, I like sours. Um, um, they're good for warm weather. They are. And so this week has not been a good week for <laughs> a sour. We've had almost all the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sunny, actually, right now, and it's been hailing and, and snowing. snowing and raining. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, feels a lot more sour than some of the others. I think maybe they're... I'm mm -hmm. not saying that the other sours I like aren't sour, but this one has a more upfront sour taste. Definitely um, more tart, yeah. It's more tart, and I don't know if that's going to be a favorite. Mm -hmm. um, so. I'm not really tasting the salt in it. Do you taste the salt? I taste it a little bit, but I don't really taste the peach that much either. I think it's just that the sour just... It's really bracing. Overtakes the other flavors in this one a lot. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. So. It's tasty. I don't mind it. Um, I'm not sure that I'd buy it again. I mean, it's not <laughs> offensive. It's not bad. Um, it's probably just not our... Uh, no, I'm probably not. Our a can of beer. <laughs> cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea, our <laughs> can of beer. <laughs> um, yeah, I, the, the flavors are clean. It's, it's definitely a ghost... Um, and ghosts are just really tart, sour beers. Um, this one's on the tartar side for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, and I think we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> this has been, um, Parliament Peach Ghosts by Bombastic Brewing out of, I think they're Northwest Brewery. I'm pretty sure they are. My finger's covering half of it. Oh no, Boise, Idaho. Yeah, Northwest. Not Pacific Northwest, but definitely Northwest. Boise, Idaho. They're pretty easy to find in Washington State. Like, I'm, I always see a few bombastics, and they always come in these big cans. And there's a few of them that are really, really, truly delicious. Um, this has been Grace <laughs> and Matthew, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.